invoke and invite the presence of Avan within you. Clear and open to sharing this body. Avan is my guide and my partner. Avan is my guide. Blessings and joy. This is Elufan. We are so excited to be speaking with you once again, to share with you and this planet the message about what is going on. What is going on? You are so caught up in this question, finding answers. And yet the answers you seek are so obvious and yet so hidden to you. For each of you attempts to construct a framework to understand what is going on. For many, it is a spiritual framework. It is a religion. It is finding the answers through a set of doctrines and rules for living. This is legitimate. It is one of the many ways you have come here to experience consciousness, individuated consciousness. For others, this search is in terms of science. For some, it is in terms of spirituality. But beloved, any time any one of you attempts to provide a complete framework, a construct for what is going on, be it political or scientific or religious, you are drawing conclusions, you are filling in the blanks with each of your personal observations about what is going on in the universe. For some it is astrology, this could also be political, there are many ways that you can explore this question. This is what many of you have called the meaning of life. You are here to answer that question. But this is where we would give you some guidance. This question has many answers. For some, it may be as individual as you are. You may be the only one in this universe that has this specific path and construct laid out for you. Now the danger comes in attempting to take what you have taken as a path, be it religion or science or politics, and applying it to the whole, to say, this is how what I see as truth, this is what I see as the way of being, the way that one must live one's life, now everyone must follow this path. And that is an offense, for it cuts off the sovereignty and free will of every individuated consciousness to find the path that is appropriate for their journey, for their level of development, for what it is that they need out of this life. Beloved, there is also the larger core collective of humanity and the planet Earth, for you are working in coalition and collaboration with each other. This is another pathway. The Earth itself is on a journey. You are part of that story. The human consciousness is part of that story. And you have a role to play in the larger drama of the universe. Allow us to take what we hope to keep brief for this, which would be an overview of what is going on, and let us answer some questions. First, there is source consciousness. This is the essence, the center point of all beings, all existence, all that is, all that can be. You may call it God, you may call it the universe, but there is a center point from which all essence flows, and this is source. This is the term this one has chosen to use, and it is what we will use today. Flowing from Source, you have the higher consciousnesses. These are other deities, other divine principles of the universe. Sometimes these can be individuated into what may be called the angels in certain traditions. These represent broad concepts such as truth, 
or revelation or growth or healing. And there are many more. But as you see, what we are creating is a tree, starting with source and branching out into multiple, multiple, increasing the individuated consciousnesses, but all are part of their preceding components, which are part of source. There is truly no separation, and yet from your perspective, way out here on the branches, when you look at your neighbor, you see sometimes a large gulf, and you say, there is enormous separation. We are broken. We are not connected. And yet you are. You simply must trace the branches of consciousness back to their source point. Yes? All right. Even you, as an individuated consciousness in this lifetime, have many facets. There are parallel universes, as they have been called. These are parallel paths for your consciousness to walk. You may have other terms for them as well, but we will use parallel universe for this moment. The theory of parallel universe is that a photon taking many paths all at once, there is a universe for every path that photon may take. This is where that theory of parallel universes originated in your modern scientific thinking. But it is more complex than that and less complex. <laughs> for there are only as many paths as are necessary, as are useful for you. And these paths are traveled simultaneously, all at once, like the photon. This means that you exist here in this moment, and you also exist in multiple iterations where you have other lessons that you can learn that are similar to this iteration that you are experiencing now. Some of you are beginning to experience bleed through from those parallel timelines or bubble universe, as we sometimes call them. Now, once an iteration or multiple iterations have experienced everything they need to experience to grow this version for our channel, that would be Daniel. Once all of the versions of Daniel have learned everything they need to learn, they provide themselves with an exit strategy and they will leave this life, what you think of as death. But beloved, there is a higher form of you. This is your higher consciousness, your higher self. And this higher self has individuated into multiple lifetimes, multiple personalities. One of these is our channel, Daniel. But we have worked with him before for he has been many different people. His higher self has branched to form what you think of as past lives. They are not truly past, although they are, because some form a foundation for his consciousness and for his lessons, while others form the advanced version of his consciousness. It is a crystalline structure with every lifetime connected to every other lifetime. Some are basic, learning the initial lessons of incarnation. Others are more complex, and they are all happening both separately and linearly, as well as simultaneously. This is another level of dimension, but it is one many of you are beginning to grasp. This is part of what is going on. You must come back again and again, and not necessarily in a sequential sequence, but that is how you perceive it in your mind because of your existence as a linear temporal being. So, these consciousness are all incarnating throughout the timeline in more or less the same time. This version of this one is also living a life in the 1800s, in the 1600s, in the ancient times, before recorded history. These multiple lifetimes form the basis, the structure for his being or her being. For he has been a she and a he and many things in many incarnations, just as all of you have. You are continually popping in and out of this dream of consciousness. And we do think of the physical world that you inhabit, the temporal world, as a kind of dream, a simulation. There are those who have theorized about the reality you live in being a simulation. 
This is because they have tapped into an inner knowing that the construct you live in is yours. You are creating it every day. This is where you get to the idea of manifestation, that what you set your heart on, that you bring into existence, you manifest it. This is true in many ways, and this could be an entire message unto itself on the detailed mechanics of manifestation. But let us say for now that you are in a dream, and it is a collaborative dream. You are working with other consciousness, your friends, your family, who are helping to build this dream with you. Now, this does not mean that you can construct just a life with mansions and food and fast cars and lots of loving partners. This is not the reason for the dream. So there is some ability to manifest, but ultimately your higher self is controlling the contract, the script, the structure of your story, what you came here to learn this time around. And like a good parent, they are making sure that you take the path that will give you the greatest benefit, where you will learn the greatest lessons before your time in this dream is over. This is the broad strokes of what is going on. It is a multifaceted journey through the universe. Now we wish to bring in some other layers before we close our message to make you aware. Yes, there are other planets. Yes, there is what you call alien life. But these paths only overlap as much as is necessary for your drama to unfold, for your lessons to be learned. Many of you are wondering, when will you make contact with alien life? You have already made contact, even this form of communication. As humanity has entered its more psychic conscious development, you are beginning to reach out with the mind to make contact with other planets who are at similar levels or have advanced even beyond who are reaching out to explore the universe through the energy of consciousness. In the end, this is how your universe is most explorable for consciousness energy is not bound by the limits of space-time. It can reach across entire galaxies to connect and share experiences and messages such as this without the boundaries that many of you must endure in scientific exploration of your space. However, in the future, there will be more collaborative work being done with you as humans and the rest of the universe. There will be other races who join you in your journey and in your development. For as you become more complex in consciousness as the human condition, you will begin to incorporate lessons from your stellar neighborhood as you learn to interact with those who are not human. Many of you as well have not been human in every incarnation. This one has served multiple journeys where they were not human, they lived on other planets. This is where this one and I first connected first in a temporal sense. But we are always connected at all times, and we have always been connected, and we will always have worked together. Many of you may know me, Elufan, but many of you, this is the first time hearing me speak for you in the versions of your incarnation. There will be times in the future that you and I will connect. For truly, outside of time, all of us are interconnected at all times. All consciousness on the level where we exist, where the guides that this one brings through to speak to you, we exist on a level of interconnected consciousness, both separate and communal at the same time. This is what we think of as reality. For you are in a dream, and when you exit this dream, you will re-emerge into the real world. You will wake up and begin to incorporate all of the lessons you've gathered from the lifetime that you are living now. These are the broad strokes of what is going on. We, Elufan, we are both an individual as well as a collective consciousness. We welcome you to ask us questions. If there is some point that we can clarify for you or questions that we can answer for you, that is why we are here. That is the work we are here to perform. So please reach out to us at any time. This was Elufan. We are most pleased to be involved in your journey today. Thank you so much. We will speak again.
I'm finally channeling here at Pigeon Point Lighthouse, <laughs> and I've wanted to come out here for a long time, and I managed to get out while the tide was still kind of low so I could come out here. But it is coming in fast, and it's been kind of an exciting morning for channeling with the waves lapping at my toes. Oh, this has been a message that I feel could go so much longer. I still have questions, things that I'd love clarification on. But if you have questions about what's going on, please ask them. I know that this has been said before and I just want to reiterate it. I don't think Aelithan quite got there, but we are not to judge anyone's path. There's multiple ways, she did say that, of exploring our reason for being here. And just because someone else has a different belief system, that is appropriate for them. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. But we're not to impose our path on another. And that's an important message that I think should be one of the big takeaways from this. No matter what is going on, even if your belief system doesn't incorporate things like reincarnation, that doesn't mean that there's nothing to be learned from it. And if you don't believe in it, that's totally fine. And that's something you should commit to because your path is your path. If there's not room for it this time, that's totally fine. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> After this lifetime's over, all those questions will be answered. So just enjoy the journey. That's the advice I have. The advice I'm getting from this is just have fun along this path. Learn what you need to learn, but just enjoy. Relish every step that you get to take on this path. Thanks so much for joining me. I better get out of here before these waves wash me away. This is Daniel Zafer Joyce for Universal. I'll see you next time. Oh boy. Can we work with this? Okay. Brother Ocean, that was very cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>